Okay, folks, let's see what we have here with this one. This one's an interesting one. We're going to do it a bit differently. Uh, let's see how we go with this. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have here a cup that says believe. Oh yes, folks, I do. I do believe in myself that I can pull through, that I can be a success, I can be an artist, and that anything is possible if you're doing it for good. And this is what we're photocopying. We're not photocopying these, we, they're not in good positions, and this is not well defined, so I'm gonna use, just photocopy the Lorna Jane um, yeah, very nice motivational material Lorna Jane do produce, um, but I have to take it beyond merely Lorna Jane and make it my own. So I've got to make this shit my own, folks. I can't just keep it stuck on a cup and expect it. I've got to go beyond the cup, beyond whatever these motivational, positive thinking things mean. People often treat them like good luck charms. They expect it to work, even though they sort of think, well, it probably won't work, but I'll give it a try. And just like Lady Luck, as they say. And that's come up looking better than I thought. Yeah, gotta maybe angle it more and maybe enlarge it more on the horizontal. But yeah, Lorna Jane is a real, is really big on um, motivationals. Um, they have it on their fitness gear, like. I've got a piece of Lorna Jane that I picked up at a second-hand shop. This says, if you can dream it, you can do it. Uh, and I do. I dream of redesigning the photocopier one day, of making something of it to make it a better piece of kit equipment, to make it last, like, 60 years instead of 10 years, make it out of recycled material, um, help the planet, help the humanity, don't employ slave labour, you know, Make, make yourself count as a person who wants to help the world and the less fortunate people find their own footing because you just can't be selfish about things folks we can't afford to allow people to fall into the um, state where they where they think they own their success they think their success is only for them and nothing nobody else you know that they keep it to themselves keep it for themselves, they don't want to share it, they don't want to treat it like it's it's a privilege, not a right, because it's not a right, success is not a right, it's a privilege, and you've got, you got to fucking um, use it wisely, don't just keep it to yourself, help others find their own place in society. Even those people who are not destined to be Movers and shakers, help them. They're the ones that really need the help. The ones that are the little people, the tiny people who don't have much to wager with in life. Who need to be supported and loved. And it's really hard to, um, yeah. But you got to believe. But the thing is, you've got to work out how to 
make the believe actually work, you know, like what do you what do you believe in? You know, that sort of thing. Gotta ask questions, philosophical ones. What you believe in. But that's up to you folks to work that one out. I can't dictate to you folks how things are to be done. I can just give you ideas and and and, and tips. But basically, if you can find the right method of, of getting into this sort of thing, to get motivated, Yeah, that's starting to look nice. Got to make it more on the vertical. Um, and a bit more on the horizontal, of course. Uh, I do need a bit, lot more enlargement. Okay, because I really want to redesign the photocopier and I want to clean up the planet. I want to mine the e-waste dumps of the world as well as, and also Australia, so we can clean up the mess that the rich people in the industries that did, dirtied the world, that we clean up the mess that they made. This is what we got. It's a bit too much on the horizontal especially. But yeah, I want to clean up the world, I want to make it happy, I want to make it a place where everyone can enjoy themselves, everyone gets the old proverbial fair go instead of the bum steer and really we need to help make the world a better place. Uh, it's not as easy as it looks, but as it seems, but we know, I know we can do it folks, we've got to believe in ourselves, we've got to believe in our passion and my passion is is photocopier equipment and I want to make the equipment the hardware last 60 years and make it out of as I said mostly recycled materials I want to use artificial intelligence to drive the software so that the machines can be easy to operate so you know we really got to make something of it We've got to make our our contributions in this world actually count you know we've got a fucking uh, no we want 200 and something, 200 and 200, we're going to make this one, maybe 210, but yeah, we've got to make our contributions in this world count, you know, we've got to make the future generations and let them have a happy and green and clean existence, and we don't want slave labour, we don't want sweatshops, we don't want to be like Foxconn or Flextronics, we want to be able to use make people allow people who work in the factories to be happy and healthy mentally and physically and, and emotionally they gotta fucking be treated with respect don't treat them like fucking slaves don't take it for granted that you've got good workers and the kind of workers we seek in this factory environment will be people who are obsessed with photocopiers uh, photocopier nerds and geeks known as toner heads toner head is a nerd and a geek that's into photocopiers, obsessed with photocopiers, and that's a, that's the rule we have in the factories that you are one of those people. Otherwise, you're not going to do the job properly enough, and you're not going to do your job well enough. It's going to ruin the the quality of the product. You got to fucking be enthused about the product, or you're not worth employing in this factory. You know, you'll have to just have to go elsewhere and find a job. But basically, you, you, yeah, you've got to be enthused about it. You've got to be the kind of person that wakes up every morning and thinks, well, I'm looking forward to heading off to this 
this uh, photocopier factory. You know, we've got to look forward to getting off to the photocopier factory every day and working, it. and you're going to be given a good wage. It's not going to be slave wages. It's going to be a little bit more than what a a little bit more than what a factory worker should be paid. It's going to be a little bit over the normal kind of factory work payment. It's going to be a fucking um, a really cool place to work, a really vibrant and exciting place to work. Uh, not to be the kind of place that you dread. None of this dreadful dreadingness of going to work. That you're going to go and enjoy your job and enjoy the people and enjoy the conditions, the safety and the and the health and all that sort of stuff. The health and safety is going to be paramount. It's going to be the best factory on earth, I feel. And that's the kind of thing I want to promote, is a happy environment. And yeah, I do think we made this vertical one a bit too small. I think I should have made it more bigger. But this looks good so far. Lorna Jane. I think, I think we're meant to make make this a bit bigger. So I think it's going to be 210. But yeah, you just have to dream big, folks, and make sure that your dream is going to co help other people. That's one of the things that is going to determine whether your dream will come true is if your dream is to help others as well as yourself, as well as to make your dreams come true. You've got to make other people's... You've got to share it with other people as well. You've got to share your fucking success with others. Not, not just keep it to yourself. Not be selfish about it. So, you know, you have to share it around. looks better that's a better up there that's looking better so this Lorna Jane but yeah, Lorna Jane is, associ is associated with uh, focusing on dreams and aspirations but you've got to take it beyond just a commercial uh, product with a motivational spin on it you got to fucking beyond it you got to take it beyond you got to take it to the next level folks and I'm willing to do that I'm, I will do it folks I'm not going to give up I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Even if I have to prototype this photocopier myself, I won't be doing it through any companies. I won't be getting any um, any um, backing from corporations that build photocopiers. They're my. I consider them the foe, the enemy. They're the enemy, folks. The photocopier industry is the enemy. It's not friend. It's not. It's not kindred. It's the enemy, and it's the competition. And I'm going to fight my way up up the line with this new product and this product is going to be developed pretty much by myself if I can get the um, I suffer from brain damage at birth it hasn't been diagnosed but I had a cord around my neck and I came out feet first and that's fucked up my ability to learn and to study and to succeed and I've been working been on the disability support pension and all that working in sheltered workshops to keep this dream alive but I'm hoping I'll have technology and medicine that'll fix the brain damage so I can make this dream actually come true so and I'm going to believe in it folks I'm going to keep believing that they'll have that technology that they'll have that medicine that me um, that med med medical Breakthrough. They're already working on stuff like uh, Elon Musk's Neuralink, uh, uh, electronic implants for people who, who are uh, who are paralysed, and they're still working with paralysed people. But it could deal, be used easily, maybe in the future, for people who've got brain damage, like what I suspect that I've got. So yeah, so I've got to keep dreaming, folks, despite my disability. 
I'm going to keep dreaming. I'm going to believe in myself and I will build, rebuild the photocopier from scratch, folks. I will. I'll do it. I will do it, folks. I'll believe in myself. Yes, I do. World, I believe in myself. I believe in myself. All I need is Channel 9 to show my material, to get it on the news, and that'll be the beginning of the pathway to success. So, yeah, that's it. I think we can now call this demo quits.